Hey guys, I'm here with my 2018 Chrysler 300S all-wheel drive and today we're going to do a uh, video on the 10 things you didn't know about the Chrysler 300. So let's get started. Alright, so the first thing you didn't know about the Chrysler 300 is that it's actually based on um, the older generation Mercedes-Benz E-Class and S-Class in different ways. The rear suspension architecture is derived from uh, late 90s, early 2000s Mercedes-Benz E-Class, as well as the front suspension, which is based on um, the S-Class from 1999 to 2005. So that is something that makes the suspension very robust, as it was built during the Daimler Chrysler days, and some of that architecture and engineering um, came over to this car. Another thing you didn't know about this car is that the electrical system is actually based on a Mercedes-Benz architecture from the E-Class. Um, and that's most apparent in how many technology features this car had when it came out in 2011, this, this redesign. Because it had adaptive cruise, it has steerable headlights, and all that architecture for the electrical system uh, came from Daimler Chrysler, which uh, translated into the E-Class as well as this car. And that is most apparent by the fact that the battery in this car is in the exact same spot as the E-Class. So it's actually right there, same spot as the E-Class. Which brings me to my third thing that you didn't know about this car, is that this rear spare tire is actually at an angle to um, absorb energy in a rear crash, um, distributes the energy a little bit more to the sides of the car instead of into the passenger compartment, so more of a lateral distribution of energy versus a longitudinal uh, distribution of energy. All right, so the fourth thing you didn't know about the Chrysler 300 is that late 2017 and 2018 models going forward will have um, an automatic parking feature if you turn off the car while the car is still in gear. So let's demonstrate that. Um, I'll actually start it up here. And I'm gonna shift into S mode, and this will work regardless of any uh, gear you're in, reverse, neutral, neutral, drive, or sport mode. But sport mode is a little more impressive. So let's, uh, let's put it into sport. So it's in drive, or push down, and then go into S mode. Now I'm gonna turn off the car, and watch what happens to the gear selector. Shifts into park. But the car is still in ACC mode, so it's not something that you wanna do on a consistent basis, because um, it just doesn't really make sense. Um, so you gotta press the button twice to get it to full off. All right, so the fifth thing you didn't know about the Chrysler 300 is that the all-wheel drive system actually disengages above uh, 39 degrees when it gets warm outside and it engages at any temperature below 39 degrees. Um, it instantly goes into all-wheel drive mode if the temperature drops below 39 degrees, like within five seconds of that happening. Um, but if it moves from, let's say, 38 degrees to over 40 degrees, it takes about a half an hour of constant driving before the car will switch into rear-wheel drive mode once again. So the upsides are is that the all-wheel drive system is permanently engaged when it's slippery outside. Downsides are that you're going to get worse gas mileage even if the road is clear and the temperature is below 39 degrees. So the sixth thing you didn't know about the Chrysler 300 is that the all-wheel drive system is actually derived from the Mercedes 4MATIC system because the all-wheel drive system actually dates back to the Daimler, Daimler Chrysler era. Um, before 2012. So this car came out in 2011, was developed in the mid 2000s, um, and it was so it was redesigned for 2011. But the all-wheel drive system carried over, and a lot of the longitudinal architecture of that all-wheel drive system can be found in the E class and S class in terms of where the components are situated, what kind of components are part of the all-wheel drive system, and how the all-wheel drive system operates. The seventh thing you didn't know about the Chrysler 300 is that when you go into the navigation screen, the picture of the work building when you select work as your destination is actually the Chrysler headquarters building in Auburn Hills. Um, it's part of the whole complex there and that is the business unit. And what's funny is there's actually a little blue square there as if that's your office. So that's kind of funny. The eighth thing you didn't know about the Chrysler 300 is that when you do the high beams and you don't push the stock forward but you just pull the stock back for like a brief flash and you have the fog lights on, the fog lights will actually not turn off unlike if you have the stock forward like this which turns off the fog lights. 
So these are low beams with fog lights. This is if you flash point the stock back, fog lights stay on. If you want the high beams on permanently, then it turns off the fog lights. So the ninth thing you didn't know about the Chrysler 300 is that there's actually a strap here. So if you have a flat tire and you need to get access to your spare tire, you just pull up the carpet like this and the uh, little hook here will go right into your weather stripping so you have clean access to your spare tire and your battery just in case something happens. So that's a really nice feature that's found on a lot of German cars and it's interesting how Chrysler incorporated it into this car. You also have a little bit of nozzle stuff down here so you can put some fluids under the hood and um, you got some more information here on the part number. So pretty cool stuff. The final thing you didn't know about the Chrysler 300 is that it was actually designed by Ralph Giel. He was born in New York and was raised in, in Canada. Um, and at the age of 14, his aunt sent some sketches that he made of some Chrysler vehicles to the chairman of Chrysler at the time, Lee Lacocca. And um, the chief executive designer for Chrysler Vehicles got back to uh, Ralph Giel and his aunt and told that told his aunt that Ralph should attend three different one of three different design schools when he goes to college. So Ralph Giel did that. And he was actually hired into Chrysler after college, and has been since promoted um, up the food chain and was designing the Chrysler 300 for 2005 as well as the update for 2011 and beyond. And then he was promoted to the head of design, global head of design for Fiat Chrysler automobiles in 2015. So that's kind of a really cool story and kind of was a, uh, a, a very, very cool upbringing and story that the uh, person who designed this car actually had. So I thought that was a really cool way to end this video. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video on the 10 things you didn't know about the Chrysler 300. I hope you thought it was very informative. Please hit that subscribe button, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thanks again, and have a great day. Bye.